Matt Noyce, good to be back with you. Our One Degree Outside Insights video, looking at the meteorology driving the forecast for the coming days. If you missed the Today video with Noyce's notes, please do check it out at our homepage, OneDegreeOutside.com. We cover the next 24 hours. But here's what's going on. We've got clouds spreading back up in our direction here. That's a sign that the humidity is on the move. It's working on getting back in here. You've got a stalled out front down to the south. That's really kind of locking away the bulk of humidity, but that will come in our direction as a wave of low pressure, a storm center comes in, the humidity goes up, the chance of rain goes up as we get deeper into the week. And, you know, I'd mentioned in the Today video that even later on today, Monday, we're going to find these pop-up showers and storms. It'll be around for us here and there, but particularly after midnight tonight, pre-dawn Tuesday, a slug of rain comes in. It does not impact everybody equally. We're going to look at that in just one second. But for most of us, it's raining on Tuesday morning with a timestamp in the upper left. By midday, that's already starting to throttle back. But what happens is, as the center of low pressure goes by, you do turn an onshore wind. It does turn a little bit cooler cooler, no less humid, but a little bit cooler as we get later on Tuesday and particularly on Wednesday when there will still be periodic showers around, but with an onshore wind, you're probably held in the 70s. Again, still sticky, but held in the 70s. Thursday, a cold front approaches, slices into all the humidity that we'll have around. You will get showers and thunderstorms developing on Thursday afternoon. They'll probably be somewhat widespread. And then by Friday, drier, more comfortable air comes in and knocks that chance of showers down. In terms of total rain in the next two days through Tuesday, look, it's not a ton. Uh, the best chance of three quarters of an inch is across parts of northern New England. Notice Nantucket picking up over an inch of rain. But for some of the folks who need it most, southern Maine, central southern New Hampshire, northeast Mass, there's not a lot. Your most focused period of rain comes through on Tuesday morning, but even that starts to break up in some of those areas. So today we've got that building chance of at least widely scattered showers or a downpour late in the day, the evening. And then again, really it's Tuesday morning with the greatest chance of showers for us. After that, it's about a 60% chance of a pop-up shower or storm during the midday to afternoon. Wednesday is going to be a day where there's pockets of showers and, uh, and rain kind of floating around. But again, I don't think it adds up to a whole lot. You've got an easterly wind off the ocean, so that keeps it moist. There may even be drizzle in a number of spots. And by Thursday, that higher chance of showers and storms because we looked at the cold front that comes slicing into the humidity. Friday, the lower chance of showers as the more comfortable air works in, which shows up in our 14-day dew point forecast. By the way, this product is thanks to your feedback. So many have said, can you give us a 14-day dew point? Yep, we sure can. Uh, and you'll see the humidity dropping off by the upcoming weekend into early next week and building again toward the end of the 14-day, which, by the way, in pattern predictions that we'll post later on today, we'll talk about that 14-day pattern for New England and how I don't think we're done with heat at the end of July and into August. But again, that's coming up in the pattern predictions video. So high temperatures Tuesday running about 80 or so. Uh, Tuesday night is a muggy night for just about everybody in New England. Wednesday, it's funny, you look and you say, that doesn't look bad in terms of the temperatures. I mean, there's going to be showers around, but it's going to be in the 70s. Yeah, but the dew point temperature is 70 all the way into northern New England, so it's still going to be awfully muggy for a good number of us here. Thursday into the 80s we go, the showers and storms, particularly in the afternoon with that cold front, sweeping out of here Friday, really comfortable air, and temperatures will be running in the 80s. A reminder for your 14-day for your location, grab the app, Noises One Degree Outside, weather app, and again, pattern predictions talking about how the heat's not over for New England yet when I see you coming up later on today.